The biggest thing holding people back from making an Iron Man account is supplies. Now that's the whole point of the game, right? You don't have access to the Grand Exchange and you don't have access to trading other players. So a lot of people ask me all the time, how do you maintain your supplies to play as an Iron Man account? How do you always have potions, always have food, runes, seeds, money? How do you get all of this stuff and stay consistent with it? So today I'm going to be bringing a video on my top five tips on maintaining your supplies as an Iron Man account. I'm also going to give you some in-depth ways of training certain skills and how you can keep up with the supplies. If you guys like the video, make sure to go ahead and smash the like button and maybe even consider subscribing for more. Now this first one here is going to kind of sound a little bit stupid, but bank things. When I was young playing this game, my friend said, imagine if we picked up every single drop that we ever got. And this is way back in 2008, 2009, when I first started the game, when we were killing cows. And he's like, we'd be so rich. And I was like, no, no way we would, right? But all those little drops add up to be so much over time and you don't really care about it playing a main account right you see a random herb on the ground or a bone on the ground you kind of just don't really care about it so you just leave it on the ground now it is really annoying to go and bank everything but i recommend especially at the very start of iron man get use of every drop you possibly can if a creature drops an herb that's free herb lore experience even just something like a gold ore you can use that in the future for smithing and then crafting and making yourself bracelets and whatever it might be honestly the game really ends up making sense when you play iron man and all of the resources are super useful Dust Devils were one of my favorite Slayer tasks going for 99 Slayer and whenever I played a main account I would never pick up the fire runes just because they weren't worth too much money. But when I got myself 99 Slayer I checked and I had 3-400,000 fire runes just from picking them up throughout Slayer. It's not like I went out of my way to go and craft fire runes, just picking these drops over time will add up to a lot. And I don't mean pick everything up, like bones, you can pick them up, berry, herbs, you can clean them, whatever it might be, but try and get use of most of the drops in the game. Now this next one's going to be a little bit obvious too, but don't be scared to AFK. If you want to play another game, play another account, set yourself up at the Motherload Mine for an entire month and get yourself a lot of resources there. Iron Man is very slow and these goals can take a long time. A lot of people always comment, oh, but that's going to take me so long. Playing Iron Man is a long term game. So say you want to train smithing, go ahead and mine for an entire month and see the resources stack up. This really does take a long time, but this is the way you have to do it. One of my favorite parts about playing the Iron Man game mode is you do random training methods that you would never do on a main account like fishing sharks or swordfish. Why would you ever do that on a main account? They're not worth too much money and the fishing experience is terrible, but on Iron Man, you're there for the actual resource itself. I personally really found it doing the slow methods like chopping yew trees, fishing carambwans, mining amethyst. I found all these very slow methods honestly really enjoyable to go ahead and just see at the very end how many of the resources you can stack up over time. Now I know AFKing isn't for everyone, but if you can AFK play another account, play another game for a few months at a time, the resources will stack up and you will see yourself getting a ton of them so that you can have them forever. I've played RuneScape for 14 years now and my Iron Man account was the very first account I went and got myself the quest cape on just because it is super useful for helping maintain supplies long term on an Iron Man. The more quests you do, the more farming patches you unlock, the more towns you unlock, the more shops you unlock, you get access to random new activities which can really help you farm resources. And the best part about it is, is you get access to the Kingdom of Miscellanea, which you can basically hire people to chop trees for you or fish for you or mine for you while you are offline. And it's very great for gathering so many different supplies, especially herbs, especially wood. And this is honestly how I got 99 cooking, got myself 99 herb lore also 99 construction and just so much extra experience just from the kingdom of miscellanea alone just running in the background all of the time while i'm online and while i'm logged off it's one of the best quests you can do on an iron man to just continuously get supplies and i didn't even mention 
They also give you bird's nest, which can really help with the seeds and making your serodomin brews. The next tip is Slayer. Get into Slayer at any combat level. A lot of people ask me when should I start Slayer? Should I wait for 70 combat, 75 combat? If you want, go and wait, but just start Slayer at a very low level. Um, get all of the resource drops you can. There's alcables, there's runes, arrows, ammunition, random supplies like gold ore, gold bars that just get dropped from Slayer creatures, and they will help your account so much. Picking, picking up all of the herbs, all of the runes, and just stacking them in the bank, like I said, will help you always have these supplies and seeds especially with slayer you can get so many seeds which leads me on to the next one train farming if you don't train farming start right now and i will tell you that farming will become one of your favorite skills in the game a lot of people are intimidated by farming they don't want to train it they think it's really annoying to go and train but let me tell you it is a great skill there's so much variety with farming and you can spend an hour a day farming and then get so much experience for that one hour and run through all of the patches in the game collecting so many different resources all of the herbal or secondaries not all of them but most of them you can farm you can farm yourself the herbs in order to use herbal or you can farm trees and then cut the trees down farming is essential the higher level you get with farming you get access to different tiers of the farming guild which you can accept contracts similar to slayer where you have to plant things and then they will provide you seed packs if you do one two even three of these contracts every single day you should have seeds pretty much forever especially if you're also training slayer doing master farmers whatever in the meantime you just with the farming contracts you should be able to ma maintain at least most of the seeds very awesome one of the best updates ever for farming Plus, the farming guild is awesome because the farming vault will allow you to store all of your seeds, saving you bank space. Okay, now we're going to get into collecting items and how you maintain those. So we're going to start it off with something very simple, money. Now, how do you make money and maintain money playing an Iron Man account? There's two ways that I personally did it. The first method is actually training fletching, believe it or not. Fletching can be very good money, especially early on. What I did is I went and got the Kingdom of Miscellanea to collect me the maple logs, cut them, and then I would string them myself and then I would high elk them and this would be consistent money all of the time. When I went for my 99 wood cutting, which was my second 99, I believe, I did yew trees from 60 to 90 wood cutting. I had so many yew uh, trees and then I went and str strung them myself, high elked all of them, crafted all the nature urns that I needed for them. And I think it was like 17, 18 million GP and I've crossed my first green cash stack because of fletching, believe it or not. The next would be train Slayer. Slayer, every single Slayer task you can make money, especially now because of Konar. Even those Hellhound tasks before that would drop nothing besides bones, you can get the um, keys now, brimstone keys, and make, you know, two, three hundred K GP every single brimstone key you get. Slayer will just spit out all of the resources necessary for your account to maintain supplies. Also with Alcables where you can cash them in, high elk them for money consistently all of the time. And once you get to a high Slayer level, you're just going to print money with the Slayer bosses like Hydra. Seeds and potions, how do you maintain those? Seeds, farming contracts, you will get a ton of, of the seeds. Training Slayer, you will get a ton of seeds. But the best way to get seeds is actually by pickpocketing master farmers, for your herb seeds anyways. Pickpocketing master farmers, you can get so many farming seeds. You can pickpocket them for a couple hours here and there. And you should have seeds for a very long time, at least a couple of weeks of farming consistently. I would always go back to master farmers when I would run out of, say, Renar seeds, and then I would just spend a few hours there and stock up and for potions all you have to do is once you farm all of the herbs just get the secondary ingredients and make the potions it's very simple you can also farm like i said most of the secondary ingredients some of them like the mormeyer fungus the red spider's eggs you will have to go out of your way to collect but once you farm all of the seeds and herbs you just make the potions it's as easy as that 
how you maintain runes on an Iron Man account. Now, this was kind of difficult um, until the Guardians of the Rift update. Um, for me, what I personally did is I actually really enjoy the rune crafting skill, so it wasn't too bad for me to go and craft 10,000 nature runes one day, 10,000 law runes the one day, but for other people, this can be very frustrating. But now we have the Guardians of the Rift. If you go for the outfit, if you go for 77 rune crafting at the Guardians of the Rift, you will have a ton of bulk random uh, runes that you can use throughout the whole game some of them you can't get there like astral runes for example wrath runes you can get the level craft these when needed but just train rune crafting it's it's not a bad skill especially now with the guardians of the rift you should get a ton of runes also slayer you can get some of the runes but just do guardians of the rift to get unlimited runes Okay, so now I'm going to give you just a few tips to just stay consistent all the time and maintain supplies. Always, of course, do your daily runs like birdhouse runs, farm runs, even shop runs if you want that extra bit of cash. For training prayer, um, you can use these spells and use the demonic spells in order to cash in your ashes and bones whenever you're on slayer tasks you do need a high magic level to do this but from 80 to 99 prayer you can just kill the alchemical hydra they spit out hydra bones they spit out dragon bones it depends on your play style you might not want to go for 99 prayer but honestly if you just do your slayer tasks keep the bones bury them bring them at the altar prayer should be very simple for crafting on an Iron Man, um, what I went and did is the seaweed method. So you can actually farm seaweed every single day and they get the giant seaweed. And with buckets of sand, you can turn them into molten glass. And this is how most of the Iron Man train their crafting. Now to get buckets of sand, you can actually mine sand in the desert. A lot of people do not know about this and they just stay at the docks, hopping worlds, but you can just go to the desert get a ton of mining experience mine yourself say 100,000 buckets of sand and you should be good for crafting crafting is very simple now because of this for cooking to get yourself to 99 cooking um, what you can do is just fish carambons over time I highly recommend you get the fish barrel from the temperus boss um, but yeah you can just either do a ton of temperus and get random bulk supply of fish or fish carom bonds. Another niche method of getting 99 cooking is if you camp a lot of Zalra, Zalra spits out grapes and you can actually use the grapes, the jugs of wine method, and it's the fastest way to get 99 cooking, but cooking's very simple now too. And as for something like smithing, what you could do for smithing is, like I said, spend a month at the Motherlode mine and then you can now go to the brand new Giants Foundry and make a lot of money there as well. And that's pretty much what you can do before we had to go and hop worlds and buy gold ore or spend, you know, a lot of time at the Motherlode mine. And also you could use the Kingdom of Miscellanea to collect you some coal. But honestly now because of the Giants Foundry, mining and smithing have become a lot easier. I'd say once you get to say a mid-level to maybe a high level, an Iron Man account kind of just feels like a regular main because you kind of just know how to get everything, you have everything in your bank, and if you take some of these tips and tricks and put them into uh, your daily use, you shouldn't really have a problem with running out of supplies. The odd time I will run out of something and then I'll just spend a few hours going and getting pretty much a quote unquote unlimited source again. Um, if you just do all this stuff consistently, it can be very annoying and very slow and it will be a long term process, but you should be able to maintain your supplies on an Iron Man account. Anyway, Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the entire video today. If you went ahead and watched the whole video, go ahead and comment diamond down in the comments below. Thank you guys, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.